Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros, and today we are going to be rebuilding the hybrid battery in this 2008 Lexus RX 400, and it is also the same process and battery for the Toyota Highlander hybrid. Go ahead and move your front seats all the way up and give yourself enough room to work here in the back. Okay, once you have turned the car off, remove the key, go ahead and disconnect your 12 volt battery. All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do before you start to remove the battery is take the service plug out and lift it up and you'll see the service plug down in there, the orange service plug. To remove it, grab the handle, pull it forward and then remove it and pull it out. So now we've cut connectivity to the battery and it's safe to work on. Next is the most fun part of the job. We're gonna remove the rear seats comes out in two sections. And first we are gonna remove these trim pieces here and these covers. Okay, using your trim pullers or something to pry with, go ahead and pop all of these up. There are four, two on each seat. Go ahead and remove them. It's just some plastic trim pieces here. And next there are three vents and each vent has two little caps here. And basically you're just gonna reach in there, pop them open. And that will reveal the 10 millimeter mounting screws and remove all three vents. Okay, in regards to the vent, when you pull them off, a lot of times you, uh, the batteries fail early because these vents are dirty. And if you have one of these vehicles, the RX 400, the Highlander, or the RX 450, I highly recommend cleaning these vents out every year or two years. Uh, this one's not that bad, but um, especially if you have pets, they will get very clogged and you will experience battery failure pretty early. Uh, this one's not too bad. We can see through it. There's just a little bit of dust in here, but we're going to go ahead and clean this up and make sure they're 100%. Using a 14 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the four seat mounting bolts in the front of each pair of seats. Now we're going to move to the rear of the seat. Go ahead and pop. This is just clipped in. Just go ahead and pop this cover up and remove the rear seat clips here. Once you lift these straps back, there's a 10 millimeter screw that needs to be removed. And if there's tension on it, move your seat back a little bit and it'll come off. All right, once you have this guy out of the way, go ahead and move the seat forward so you can access the rear of the seat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this piece of carpet out of the way using our clip pullers here, here, here. Move this out of the way. That's gonna allow us access to these two 14 millimeter mounting bolts here in the back and this third one here. And that should get our seat out. Go ahead and repeat the same process on the rear driver's seat. You're gonna to wanna to clean this area as you go so you're not installing a good battery in a dirty spot. Okay, to get this carpet up and out of the way to expose the battery, we're gonna to need to remove this piece of trim on each side and also this piece of trim on each side. So to remove this panel here in the rear, there are two clips, one here, one here. You're gonna pop those out of place. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a third one up here. So go ahead and pop these out of place and you should be able to pull this piece of trim out of the way. All right, before you can lift the carpet, the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pop this piece out of place. You can see that it's just these clips. You can reach in there and kind of gently pop them out of place. Go ahead and remove those. And then you can pull the carpet back, exposing the high voltage battery. The first thing we're gonna to do to start unhooking this battery is we're gonna do undo all these electrical connections here. So I'll point them out, one, 
two, three, four, five, six. Also go ahead and remove this 14 millimeter and the seatbelt bracket. There are plastic clips. Most people break them out. I am going to remove them. I'm kind of a stickler about clips, so I'm gonna pinch them here from the bottom and uh, we're gonna remove one, two, three, one over here. So go ahead and remove those so that way when we pull the battery out, we won't catch these wires. There are two plastic orange little clips that we're gonna to have to, maybe three, that we're gonna to have to remove, but basically they have these little notches and you're gonna use something sharp and kinda of go left while you hold it still and that's gonna release it. So there's one there on the top. This is the location of your two plastic orange clips. Remove your vent tube from the car side. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Using your 10 millimeter, remove these two bolts right here, and this will allow you to remove the uh, cover for the service plug. And while you're over here, do not forget about this little guy. Go ahead and unplug him. So next we are going to have to remove these metal covers, uh, which were where the vents were. There's three on each side of the battery on the front side. And if you look in there, now that the vents are removed, you'll see these two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding this into place. So we're gonna remove uh, six, two on each one and remove all these covers. And just to correct myself, uh, the ones on the ends, they have the two 10 millimeters in the front here, but the middle one, the 10 millimeters are here on the side. So that's how you'll remove this middle one. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and remove this top panel. And to do that, we've already gotten the, or we've already removed the orange clip one, two, 10 millimeters, and this tape. You can just go ahead and pull that back. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is test for both voltage here. And this is our main contacts. So we're gonna make sure that there's zero volts before we remove these two 10 millimeters. And we're gonna remove this one as well. And there's a little wiring harness in here that we'll remove and we have no voltage, so we are safe to work on this battery. Using our 10 millimeter, we're gonna go ahead and remove each of the nuts. Remove the wiring harness or the uh, your main cables from the battery. And there's also a wiring harness right here. So we're gonna remove this 10 millimeter and unhook this wiring harness from the relay. There are 11 12 millimeter mounting bolts that hold this battery to the frame of the vehicle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So go ahead and remove those and we'll be ready to get this battery out. We are now ready to remove the battery. The only thing that we're gonna do on removing it is we're gonna make sure that these are out of the way because we'll actually slide the battery. These will go through this hole down here 
and we want to make sure that we're not grabbing this harness or these uh, main uh, wires here. Once you've removed the battery, go ahead and clean the battery compartment before you install the new battery. All right, we have the battery up on our work table and I'm going to repair this battery. I'm gonna be installing an aftermarket battery rebuild kit. So I'm gonna take this old unbalanced pack and turn it into a new battery again. And I will also be doing a video on how to rebuild the battery. So uh, I'll link it up in the description. But once I have the battery finished, I will install it back into the car and I'll briefly show you how to go about reinstalling the battery. All right, we got the battery back in place. And of course we fed the wiring harness and our main positive and negative cables uh, up through the hole in the bottom. So now we're ready to go ahead and hook the battery up and uh, test it. Okay, once you have the battery in place, go ahead and put your 12 millimeter mounting bolts in and go ahead and start them all by hand. And I'll just point them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So once you have them in by hand and uh, you will have to move the battery and adjust it a little bit to get them all to line up. So don't tighten any of them down, but once they're all in by hand and you know you're not gonna cross thread them, go ahead and tight, tighten them all down. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this center cover right here. And first secure your wiring harness with the 10 millimeter bolt. And this orange clip. After that, we're going to use two 10 millimeter bolts to secure the front vent covers on each module peg. So here, center, and then. Now we're going to go back through and hook up all of our fans and wiring harnesses here, and they only go back in one way. So again, you're not going to get them wrong. put the cover for the service plug back into place. Also two 10 millimeters. And the last thing we're gonna do is put our plastic clips in for our wiring harnesses to keep them nice and secure. Now we can go ahead and drop the carpet into place. Pull your seatbelt through. All right, next we are going to put our trim piece back here on the side and it's gonna clip back into place. All right, once you get the panel back in place, go ahead and replace three plastic clips. One, two, and three. And then go ahead and pop this piece back into place and repeat the process over here. So I forgot to film this uh, before I put the seat on, but go ahead and replace the clips up here. There's two up top before you get the seat on. And then after we put the service plug in, we can go ahead and close this up. All right, now the fun part, let's go ahead and get the seats back in and tighten them down. And there are five mounting bolts for each seat, just like coming out, two over here one here and two in the front so we have our seats in and now we're ready to go ahead and put the back 
uh, carpet down. And basically this is what I have. I'm gonna slide these seats back. And once you have the seats back, you can put your clips in this carpet. That's gonna hold this carpet down. And now we can go ahead and replace the vent covers and our plastic trim pieces, uh, two for each seat here. And in regards to these, uh, the two that are even go in the middle and the two where one of the sides comes down like this, those are gonna go on the outsides. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is put, install our service plug, get it pushed in all the way. It might be, you might have to wiggle it around a little bit. But once you get it pushed down all the way, flip it sideways, it's engaged. Shut your cover and it also clips into place. Pop them in. All right, go ahead and hook your 12 volt back up and tighten it down. And you are now officially finished with the job of removing and reinstalling the hybrid battery in a Lexus RX 400H or a Toyota Highlander. So I hope this, I hope this video helped you out. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions, please leave those as well. We always love learning new ways to do things, better ways. So yeah, please subscribe to the channel. We have more installation videos coming out. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.